Hey everyone, how's it going? Five Finger Shuffle, back here with another video. And today I came up with an interesting idea that I want you guys to take part in. Uh, every single day that I play this game or I played other games in the past, somebody asks me inevitably, who should I six star next? I'm sure if you've ever been to stream, you've heard that question. Um, if you've ever been in Discord, you've seen that question. So it kind of gave me an idea. Instead of you guys asking me for the day, I'm gonna ask you guys. So I've currently made nine six stars on this account already, and we're getting ready for number 10. So what I've decided to do is every 10th six star, I'm gonna let you guys decide who I six star next. Now, because I know what's gonna happen, and there was already rumblings of it as soon as I said it in, in stream, a lot of people were like, six star the mouse, six star carrot, six star something that I'm probably never gonna use. So for every 10th summon, I'm going to give you guys a list. So I try and keep my account very balanced. I have to try and keep somewhat similar numbers of water, nature, and fire units. Um, so what I've done is I've picked five units, one light, one dark, one fire, one fire, one water, and one earth. Um, that way you guys can still kind of pick what you want, but at the same time, it's a little reg regulated. And then we decided that was a good idea, but people were like, well, then you're not really letting us decide, are you? <laughs> so when we get to 100, I will let you guys pick any unit you want, including the two stars. If that's what you want me to six star, that's fine. Um, as you can see here, I'm currently running Hall of Dark, um, basically because I can level up. First of all, I have Axe God, so I'm farming the runes for him, but at the same time, I'm leveling two fodder in here. So I have the new six star in here, uh, Zoran, he's ready to go. Oh, two highs, not too bad. How many does that even give us now? 20. All right. So we still need 20 more. But I figured I would run that so that I can A, get ready for tomorrow so you guys can decide who I six star because I want to do it right on stream tomorrow. And also because then it can help me with the specialty change for Axe God. He is right here. He's still only five star. Uh, and he's not even on the list of units that we're going to use. But we can't do another one of these anyway. Next up, we need 16 mids, and we only have 13. So he's still quite a ways away. But I figured we would level some fodder there while we are preparing for this. So you can see here, we have one, two already done. So we have two five stars done. And we have three that are ready to go. I don't know why this guy's still being leveled. We got to take him out of there. I didn't even notice he was still in there. Um, so we still need 10 more four stars, but we got a bunch of these guys ready to go. I'm hoping we should be ready for tomorrow. So here are your options. I, again, I picked one of every element. I'll show you what I have first and then I'll show you the options. So in terms of fire, the only two fire six stars we have are Haste and Cecilia. So I love both these units. I use both these units. I'm perfectly happy with them both. I'm fine by that. Sort of a support and a supportish damage dealer. If you were wondering, I want him on speed gear, but his speed gear just isn't ready yet. It's currently being upgraded, so I can switch it over. That way I can keep using him in the meantime. Uh, in terms of Earth, we have Clurry, who I'm still working on. Uh, her gear needs a lot of work, but she's got her uh, she got her awakening pretty much done. It's level 29. Her skill tree, I mean. Here, her skill tree is up to plus 29, so she's doing a good job. The only issue with her is I do not have an HP piece here. Unfortunately, she's on effectiveness, which sucks. Uh, makes her really squishy, especially because normally I have Aureus on her. I just switched it to this for raid. Let's switch that back before I forget, because I do use her in arena. So having that on her does help. 
And the second nature one I have is Yufin. I love my Yufin. She's one of my favorite characters. Uh, I just got these boots, so I need to upgrade them. But otherwise, she's doing quite well. Uh, I, like I said, I got to finish upgrading all these guys' gear. But the the pieces you need to upgrade these are dropping very slowly. Uh, into water, or ice, I suppose. I have Angelica, and I have Kareen, and I now have Zeno. Um, I don't really plan on using Zeno very much, to be honest with you. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think he's just very situational. Maybe I'll do a review on him at some point. Uh, but like you saw there, he's basically got no gear on him. I just put filler stuff on him in the meantime, just to help him out a little bit. But... So basically for ice, we have Angelica and Kareen. So it's two of each element and plus the extra one, I guess. And then for dark, we have Sid and Shooting Star Achates, both of which I use my Achates a lot. She just recently got a bit of a rework. I really need to upgrade this because she was triple HP. So if we're going to have speed on her, then we have to at least make her fast because currently at 124, it looks like she doesn't even have speed on her. And then Sid is a work in progress. I did six star him, but I want to max his gear before I actually test him. He's up to 88% crit rate. Um, but I also need the rest of the team to work with him because he's already at 187 speed. And I don't want him to go first. I need my buffers and debuffers to go first. So I need to have a really fast team in order to use him. So that's what I currently have. Um, very balanced. I have no light characters actually built yet. Um, but otherwise, I have two of each plus Zeno. So these are the options that I currently have for you guys to choose from. Uh, I did not put Axe God on this list. My first dark unit, I figured I had to put her on here. Uh, she was my... I got her right after 10.10 when I opened my MLs. I had the two from the Christmas pack and I had the ML from actually finishing 10.10. And she was the second of the three ML pulls that day. So I was super hyped to get her, but she's pretty terrible. So <laughs> I'm not I'm not overly looking forward to six starring her if you guys do pick her. But you have the option. If you guys pick her and vote for her, then I will six star her tomorrow night on stream. Second on the list from Earth is Bellina. I secretly hope that this is the one that gets picked out of all five of them. This is the one I would like to six star most. Um, she kind of fits every gap that I don't have in my current roster. She's an AOE. She's a ranger. She's um, also has an AOE defense break. I mean, she's and she's also really, really strong with uh, damage on her first skill based on enemy max HP. So she'd be great for bosses on top of the defense break. I mean, you name it, she does it. Her gear isn't ready, but I don't even care. Um, I'll work on it. If she gets six-starred next, she will get priority in terms of her gear. So, yeah, uh, she's the nature unit or earth unit. Up next is fire and Araminta. I didn't have many options for fire. Um, I have Surin, Ravi, Ken, and Araminta were my options. Ravi, I don't really want a six star right now. She kind of doesn't really fit anything I'm doing. Like she's single target damage, which is great, but I already have a lot of single target damage. Um, I know a lot of people like Surin, but I don't really like the ongoing damage in this game very much. So I'm trying to skip it. And Ken, even though he just got his second buff, I tried to use him again and he still doesn't seem to want a defense break ever. So I don't really want to six star him right now. If he ends up being amazing, then we'll take another look at him. But for now, he's going to stay benched. Um, so our fire option for this six star anyway is Araminta. Araminta has okay damage, not great, but she does okay damage with burn, which at least is a nice debuff. But what I really would like her for is the attack buff. Um, I considered putting Hazel on this list, but since her specialty change isn't even out yet, I figured I would leave it for now and we'll do it another time if need be. Because it's going to take a while to do her specialty change anyway. Um, and my Hazel's also only 4 star. So I figured we would go with her. 
Next is water, and I still have not six-starred my Kize. So I have a lot of units that I've pulled because I did a lot of summons early in the game, and I didn't want to focus on too many things at once. So my poor Kize has just been hanging out here, doing her own thing. Uh, I've not really used her at all. So she is my water choice. I would I would love to six-star her. Um, there's a lot of things I would like to use her in. I love her cooldown reduction. Uh, I would probably make her really fast and just hope to hell she lands that cooldown reduction. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that is our water option. And finally, going into light is right below her here. Guide her So I, first of all, you guys are going to get mad at me for calling this a girl, but we're calling it a girl either way. Um, <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. That has to be a girl. Um, so she would be nice because she's not only big damage, but she also heals. So having that sort of an option where, like, I'm on. I was trying to do the raid queen today, and we lost multiple times. And I was like, you know, if I only had a second heal, and I was like, but if I bring a second heal, I won't have enough damage. And everybody was like, well, like, that's kind of like a role for Guide or Aether. You bring damage and you bring heals. It's beautiful. Um, so she's definitely at the top of the list as well. So those are the five units that you guys can choose from for me to six star next. Whoever gets chosen, as you can see, I only have one skill up on her. So I would have to fast track her. But it is uh, Malagora Monday in about three hours. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, whoever you guys choose, I will be six starring on stream tomorrow night. So I'm going to keep grinding through the night tonight and through the day tomorrow so that when we're on stream, I'm ready to six star whoever you guys vote for. If you want to vote, all you have to do is go to the Discord tomorrow during stream. So stream starts at 3, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to start the voting at, at that time tomorrow. I will put the link in the description of this video so you can check it out uh, if you forget or if you don't i don't know if you don't remember to go to there uh, you can always jump into stream if you want to know the discord when you're on the stream it's just exclamation mark discord and it'll bring you right to the discord um, come down all you have to do is scroll down to the section that says epic seven and in that section there will be a a subsection titled contest dash pick my six star or something like that. Just click on that. And in there will be six different pictures. Well, I don't even know. I won't even do it that way, actually. I lied. We're going to do it a different way. We're going to have one kind of like, we'll have one picture. And in that picture, you can click one of the reactions. And each reaction will be associated with one of the five units. Whichever reaction gets the most votes will be the winner. So we'll do it that way. Um, the voting will go from 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is the start of stream, until midnight Eastern Standard Time. I think I said 3 earlier. If I said 3, I'm sorry. Uh, 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time until midnight Eastern Standard Time. Actually, I'll probably go until 11. Uh, so 5 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. And then at 11, we will make that 6-star before stream ends, because we normally end stream at 12. So again, the link for stream tomorrow, if you do want to come check it out, uh, will be twitch.tv slash five finger shuffle. That will also be in the comment section down below. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. Hopefully you guys stop by, at least come by and say hi. I know a lot of you um, have only watched on YouTube and you've never dropped by stream. So I'd love to see you tomorrow night. Uh, Drop by, say hi, let me know who you are, let me know what you like or don't like about the videos, and I guess we'll talk to you then. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, I hope you like the idea, and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.